Okay, and we're back everybody, and today we're gonna start up a mini-series, if you'd call it that. We're gonna try and get top 10 in PU. It's another road to rank 10, or road to top 10, rather. And, um, th the reason I call it a mini-series is because our main account is already very high up on the ladder. It's, um, yeah, we're already number 20, so it's gonna be maybe only, like, two episodes long, so that's, that's, it is what it is. And if I enjoy the tier, I'll probably, uh, try to get a road to rank 1. It's, it's similar to what I did in the, uh, NU thing where I went and got to top 10 and then I just kind of liked the tier so I, I played a bit more and then I got to rank 1 and then I made a video about that as well but yeah in P we're just going to try to get to top 10 because I wanted to showcase um, getting to top 10 on our main account because it's been documented on this channel how we got to top 5 it's been documented on this channel how we got to uh, uh sorry how we got to top 5 in OU how we got to number 1 in UU how we got to number one in RU, and recently, how we got to number one in NU, so the next obvious uh, step is PU. And I have been to number one before, that's why our account is already high, we just had DK, so I haven't played in a while, and we DK'd a lot, and that's what, how we're not number one currently, but I wanted to try and get up there while recording, just to show you my top presses on high ladder games, in PU anyway, and yeah, it should be fairly enjoyable. Um, but yeah, like I said, it should be uh, fairly, like, fairly a short series because we're number 20 we need like 30 more points or sorry how much do we need uh we need 15 plus 3 ish uh, we need 16 more points to get to number 10 so it should be a fairly short series maybe like two episodes this one and one more but yeah we're using a new updated version of my uh previous team from pu when i first got to number one i say updated but it's heavily changed the only similarity is that it has both I guess we can just go into Team Builder and show you, right? The only similarity is as both uh, Lapras and Pukamuku, as well as Volibee. And Lapras and Pukamuku um, make for a really cool double trapping core. Because what it does is, Pukamuku can PP stall things, and Lapras can Paris trap things. So it, it's very, very interesting. They cover different things, even though they look to be kind of the same. They broke water types and they're both trapping, but they cover very different things. So it's a very cool trapping core. And then the rest of the team, of course, we have double defog on Volby plus Drifloom. Drifloom is very cool. It has Haze as well, just to help with the uh, Cosmic Power, uh, Galarian Rapidash that are running around, which would otherwise be, otherwise be very deadly for stall teams because we obviously cannot Toxic it because of uh, its ability Pastel Veil. So that's uh, something to watch out for. And Haze, Drifloom very much helps with that. So that's awesome. And then of course we have Volby with Heat Wave. This is a cool tech because it catches off um, opposing Mawile off guard because generally there are three things that Volby can do. It can knock off foul play or toxic and all three of those don't hit Mawile very well so we can just uh, surprise it with a heat wave and get a bunch of damage off and essentially remove it as a threat immediately. But we get a game and this game looks to be fairly hard if I'm being completely honest. We could lead Lapras but the lead of uh, Lycanroc might seems to be kind of threatening so that's a little annoying but you know it's it should be okay. We do have the Musharna, which is great. Am I okay with getting knocked off immediately? I think I am, if I can get a Toxic on Marowak. Oh, hmm. We could go Volby as well, but I don't know. I think, I yeah, this is going to be tough. Knockoff shouldn't kill. It does a lot, though. Okay, that's fine, to an extent. We can go Volby now. Uh, I don't know if he'll knock off again, but if he does, then whatever. Yep. So, here's the thing. A Rock Slide does not kill from my HP range. So, he goes Lapras. Interesting. All right, so this might be a Trapper Lapras as well, but... If it is, I think, well, I don't want to get Toxic, right? I guess we can go Lapras. He's Freeze Dragon, so I don't think this is a Trapper Lapras. So we'll just click Toxic. Yeah, he's Toxic, so hmm, I don't know. what I don't know what this guy is. He's a defensive Lapras, but he's not trapping. So that's interesting. I guess we can double Toxic, or we can go hard into Drifloom here. Wow, he's Thunderbolting. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, we'll go hard Lapras again. And then... I think back into Drifloom. Maybe? Uh, I don't want to take a Thunderbolt, though. I don't know. I guess we can just rest. Yeah, rest is fine here. Okay, if he's... Oh, is he gonna set up? Is he gonna set up? Or is he gonna Focus Blast immediately? I think he's just gonna Focus Blast immediately, right? We'll go hard Pukumuku, maybe? It's gonna be a little tough. We'll see. Oh, he Energy Balls. Wow, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, Not enough to, to kill me, of course, but it's gonna be threatening. We'll recover. Freesha shouldn't kill. Okay, it does a lot, but it doesn't kill, which is good. Oof, this is not looking like a good game for us. Letting Musharna take that much damage may have put us very far behind. Mm. Yeah, this is not looking good. I guess we can recover again. Again, we should be okay. Uh, we're taking so much damage, though. Alright, well, 
I, if we miss a toxic ever, that's so bad for us as well. So I guess we have toxic here. Oh man. Okay, dude. Oh, we unfreeze. <laughs> okay. I was gonna be very mad for a second, but luckily we unfroze, so that's good. Oh, we'll Lapras now? So, oh, he has a crit, that's why I did so much damage. Alright. Do we get an energy ball now? I don't know. We can go Drift Flame, but I think I might just spam some freeze strikes. He does energy ball. Okay, it does a lot of damage, but not too bad. We, I can just go Drift Flame maybe, and we can try to do something with a. Try to strength up here. Free strike does a lot, but barring a freeze, we should be a okay. We do get back some HP, not enough to survive, or I mean, rather, just barely enough to survive, I should say. Luckily, we don't need Lapras anymore, so we can actually sack this. If he wants to energy ball, then whatever. If he free strikes, then we actually have Lapras around, so that's cool. Yeah, now this is a big threat, of course. We have to go into Stun Fisk. Stun Edge doesn't do that much damage, but Earthquake will, so that's what it is. He taunts, and we get rid of this. Awesome. If he wants to Endeavor, then... Oh, well, actually, that's kind of a problem. Oh, he CCs. That's fine. We can just Earth Power. And you know what? I'm actually going to make this Stun Fisk, like... Well, I guess I'll make it later. I, I want to make it a little bit more Fizz Duff, but the issue is then I'm kind of weaker to uh, Surf Pikachu, but, you know, it's fine. What is he going to do? Is he going to Freeze Dry first, or is he going to Thunderbolt first? He's going to Freeze Dry first, right? He has to. Thunderbolt doesn't make sense for the ground type. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. We'll rest here. He freeze dries again. Okay. So Musharna, I think, actually does live the freeze dry. So, well, Moonlight, if he wants to Toxic, that's great. Because we can, uh, oh, he surfed. I don't, oh, we do love that as well. Awesome. We don't even need Heal Ball here. We're just going to Moonlight again. Yeah, Surf does not do any damage. Now, Ghastly could be a threat. <laughs> but other than Ghastly, I think we're okay. Actually, Ghastly is a big threat. I might have thrown this game as well. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Ghastly is actually a very annoying issue here. We do, uh, I, uh, this is gonna be tough, this is gonna be tough, this is gonna be tough, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yikes, yikes, okay, we sack Stunfisk, I guess? He, oh, he's SD, oh no, oh no. Okay, wait. Volby be here on the Earthquake? He knocks off, oh my god, that did so much damage, holy crap, okay, Stunfisk now? On the Rock Slide? He, okay, why is he Fire Punch, what is this set? Oh my god, dude, are you freaking serious right now? Okay, how do we win? Mm, I don't think we can. That's an issue. Oh, uh, okay. Mm, maybe we can. Okay, Volibee. All right. One. Pukamuku Fire Punch might not kill us. Oh, it does. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oof. Yeah, this is not looking good. Uh, Hex. Oh, we outspeed. Cool. Oof. Oh, what? We're so bad. I didn't even know we outspeed. We could have just clicked that a long time ago. All right, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Oh, we lived that. Oh, come on. Don't get parried. This should do a lot. It kills. Okay, now I think we win with Musharna. Huh. Alright, Strength's up here. He just sets up rocks. That's fine. Oh, my God. Wait, that's doing no damage. Wait, is he... He is destroyed, right? Okay, cool. Okay, we go into Musharna. We toxic this. Don't get destroyed, parried. Please don't get destroyed. Actually, it doesn't matter. We can't even synchronize it back. Oh, but please don't get full parried. Okay. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Dude, we're so close. We're so close. Please. Okay. Oh, no. Oh no, not, not like this. No, dude, what is happening? No! Oh my god, dude, give me, please! Please, 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 please. Okay, oh, okay, I think we're safe, I think we're safe. Oh god, oh god, don't kill, don't para. Okay. Holy crap, alright. Oh no, oh no, not like this, not like this, not like this. The next one doesn't kill, but oh my god, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, roost here, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para. Please don't para, don't para, please don't para. Okay. Oh, he lives the next one. Oh my god, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para. Oh, okay, we knock off here and kill. Ha! Huh. That was so unnecessarily hard. Oh, we got so unlucky. I and mean, we got so lucky too, he thunderbolted. I don't know, this game is so bad. This is a terrible game. Holy crap, okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why did we miss two toxics in a row? Ah, okay, 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 it's fine. Oh, and then we got parrot. Oh, Jesus Christ, this game was not good. And then we got high rolled on the Earth Power too. Jesus. Yeah, man. Okay, whatever. We'll check ladder. Actually, it won't update. It won't update. There's no way it updates. I doubt it. Yeah, it didn't update. Okay. We'll get one more game now. Oh, my heart kind of skipped a beat on that game. That was crazy. Ah, oh, God, this tier is not doing me well. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh God, that was so hard. Unnecessarily hard, I will say. By the way, God, I, I don't know if I misplayed that. I guess I did with uh, the uh, Masharna play staying in turn one, but. Whew, that was uh, 
That was something alright. Something that I don't want to ever go through again. Missing two toxic versus potential pairs and then hoping to never get paired? Oh god. That is, that is scary, let me tell you that. But yeah, I think we're okay now. I think we're okay now. Oof. God. Um, I'll leave the timestamp for when the next game starts because I assume it'll take a while. But, with that, I guess we can just talk about some stuff while we wait. I guess we can continue to talk about the team, right? Yeah, so we have double defog. This essentially helps versus anything that wants to try and set up rocks because uh, two mons with defog has more PP combined than one Pokemon with self arc. So as you see, self arc here has 32 PP. Defog here has 24, I believe. Yeah, 24 times 2 is 48. And obviously 48 is greater than um, 32. So you kind of just PP stall self arcs and then rocks don't go up in the field. Musharna is mono psychic. I'm not entirely certain this is actually the best idea because things like um, things like what's it called? Uh, Bishar baby, baby Bishar. What's it called? Ponyard, Ponyard run around in this tier and letting in those for free is kind of threatening. But I like all of these moves and all these moves are cool. So that is what it is. And we get to play Tizon. And this will probably be the last game, but maybe the ladder is updated now. We'll check real quickly. Um, okay, it is, like, barely updated. We got... Well, it is updated, rather, but we've got barely any points. After this game, we might be top 15, so I think that's where we'll end it. If we win, that is, but... This team is very tough to win against. He has a whole bolt on... Uh, yeah, more and more I think about it, I think Stunfish should be, like, almost near Max Fist Def. Yeah, yeah, I think... I, I think uh, I think that's just the best um, course of action. So, with that in mind, what do we do versus Boltund? I guess Musharna is not a bad lead here. If he wants to lead Corkle, we can just Toxic it. Yeah, I think that's fine. He, okay, he leads Boltund. I don't know if he'll... Mm, will he want to just click Crunch immediately? He might. Either way, I think Toxic is... I, he might... This is so hard, because he might you know, just Volt Switch right into the uh, Corkle. I mean, sorry, the Clink Clang, and then Toxic would be a wasted tempo. So, I want to click Psychic. He just Thunderfangs, that shouldn't do any damage. Don't flinch, thank you. This should do a, quite a bit, actually. Yep. Uh, I don't think Crunch kills us, because he's Life Orb and Non-Choice Bandit, so we can Moonlight here. I very much doubt Crunch kills us. If, it, if Crunch kills us, then I'd be very sad, but I don't think it does. Hmm. We'll see, though. We'll see. Yeah, he goes Clink Clang, that's fine. Okay, so now here's the issue. We have Stunfisk, but if he's Magnet Rise, if he's Magnet Rise and Toxic, we lose the game. Because that's just some type of ultimate counter team. Okay, sub is not enough. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, sub magnetize. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. How do we do this? Okay, okay. We have... Oh my god, we have no options. We have no options. This is so sad. Actually... We have some options. Are we willing to take that much damage on Lapras though for this? I don't think so. You know what? Yeah. You know, who cares? Spite, spite, uh, well actually you should block first in case he wants to go out into something. We are making ourselves intentionally weaker to the Rapidash though because we're gonna run out of Spite PP. But yeah, that's something. Hmm. Block obviously fails. Understandable. Now I'll Spite. Hopefully Gear Grinds. Okay, we get rid of some PP on that. Now we'll spite again. He's obviously not blocked in. He can switch anytime, so we're gonna run out of spite PP at some point. The only issue for him is he doesn't have that high PP moves, so we might be okay here. Well, probably not okay, but you know, manageable anyway. We'll see, though. We shall see. I don't think he'll get... I don't know. This is tough. This is Spite again, right? Yeah, Spite again is fine. Actually, Toxic is even better. He won't go into Rapidash. He should go into Appleton if he ever switches. He just... Wow, this guy's crazy. Alright, whatever. We'll Toxic again. He might expect us not to Toxic now, but Toxic is the play here still. If he wants to go Rapidash, I think we block it and see what it wants to do. If it wants to click the... Um, it, yeah, Toxic is obviously the play. That's awesome. We'll go Stunfisk here. I don't think he'll do anything other than Thunderfang. Yeah, great. And now we can get up rocks for free. Well, kind of free. Corkle can come in, but we can click Earth Power. Any forfeits. Okay. That was very quick. Thank God. I did not want to go through uh, 
mind games with freaking sub magnorites. That's literally what I said I didn't want to play and it played immediately. That's crazy. Okay. Ah, <sighs> okay. <laughs> with that out of the way. Oh my god. I cannot believe that just happened. We will wait for when the ladder updates, and I think that'll be the end of this video. I think I'll bring another one tomorrow of the same series, the mini series rather, because I just want to get top 10 so that it's documented on the channel and we can move on from PU as well. I really want to try out Ubers, by the way, because Ubers seems like something I have no clue about playing, but it seems very, like, very fun, because you just get to use the most broken stuff available to you and you just kind of throw things at each other and try to win games, right? Uh, maybe someone in the comments knows more about Ubers and can tell me why I'm wrong exactly, but it seems very fun. But yeah. Okay, it says updated, so we'll refresh now and we'll see. But if we're top. Okay, yeah, we're. Oh my god, we're so close to top 10 as well. Yeah, tomorrow we'll get two games, and I think if we get five points from each win. Uh, well, I assume. I said two games, like I assume we're gonna win both, but if we get five games. Or sorry, oh my god. If we get two games and we get five points, assuming we win both from each, then we uh, go up to top 10 because we'll be at, oh, never mind, I lied. We need, like, dude, that's so sad. Okay, we need six points from each one. If we get six points from each of those two games that we hopefully win, then uh, we'll be top 10. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll see though. But yeah, I think I'll end it here. This was very cool. The first game gave me a heart attack, but maybe that was enjoyable to watch as well. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.